Hi there, welcome back. I created this audio visualizer effect a while ago in DaVinci Resolve and got a question asking if it's possible to change this to a wave line instead of bars. If you haven't seen this video before, you can check it out through the link up here or in the description below. Today I'm going to show you how to make a line reacting to the music, like you are seeing now. In the timeline, I have a music file prepared for the demo, it's the same song I used in the previous video. Add a fusion composition to the timeline, extending the duration to match the song. Open the fusion composition in the fusion page. Drag a background node to the editor and connect to the media out node. Change the color to white. While the background node is selected, Click the rectangle button in the toolbar to add a mask to the background. Resize the mask to a narrow bar, something like this. In the inspector, right-click the height parameter and choose Modify with MIDI Extractor from the menu. Go to the Modifiers tab. Click the Browse button to select the MIDI file converted from the music file in the timeline. For this demo, I use the sum option for the combine events and set the result scale to 0.1. You can play with these parameters to get the best result for your case. Play the clip, the height of the bar is changing with the result from the MIDI extractor. Select the background node and right click the red parameter in the inspector. Select connect to MIDI extractor 1 result. Now the color of the bar also changes as we play the clip. In order to see the color change more easily, we can lower the values of green and blue channels. Make sure the background node is still selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a duplicate node after the background node. In the inspector, change the copies to 30. Set the time offset to minus 0.15. Change the center X value so that all the bars are apart from each other. This looks good. Select the rectangle node and move the bar to the left so the bars are centered in the middle. These are the main steps to make audio visualizer bars as I did in the previous video. Next we are going to use this result to create an animated line to follow the music beats. Add another background to the editor. Click the rectangle button to add a mask. Merge the background to the duplicate node. Change the background color to white. Select the rectangle node. Change the width to 1. Reduce the height so we have white line in the middle. Select the background node. Press shift space to open the tool window. Find and insert a displace node. Connect the duplicate output to the foreground input of the displace node. Select the displace node. Change the type to XY. Set the Y channel to red. Change the Y refraction to minus 0.2. Now as we move the playhead along the timeline, the white line is displaced by the value of the red channel. The bigger value, the line gets displaced farther from the middle. But the line is chopped into many small pieces because the bars are separated. Drag a blur node from the toolbar, move over to the line between the duplicate and displace node. Release the button once the line is highlighted. This automatically inserts the node to the node tree. Go to the inspector and change the blur size to 50. If we bring the blur node into the viewer, we can see the bars turn into gradient colors. The gradient colors applied to the displace node transform the line to a smooth wavy line. As we move along the timeline, the line shape changes following the bars. Go back to the edit page. 
Wait for the render cache to complete. Play the timeline. We now have a wave line animated with the music. If we don't want to show the bars, go to the Fusion page. We can simply connect the Displace node directly to the media out. Or right-click the Merge node, choose Swap Inputs so that the bars become the foreground input. This way, we can change the blend parameter to zero to hide the bar. Or move down the bars so they don't overlap with the line. And we can apply a mask to the merge node to only show half of the bars. To add some style to the line, we can add a soft glow node after the background. Adjust the settings in the inspector to get a glowing style of your liking. OK, let's go back to the edit page, wait for the cache. Play the clip. And we have both bars and an animated line reacting to the music. Duplicate both clips and put at the end. Go to the Fusion page and hide the bars. We can now compare the line-only result with the one of booth bars and line. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.